Hello, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be making a DIY dress mannequin. So to get started, you will need a t-shirt, preferably a tight fitted t-shirt that you don't mind destroying, some duct tape, some cling film, expandable foam, some form of stuffing, stiff cardboard, sort of stand. I actually used a stand that I had from a previous mannequin, but you can also use like a light stand or something like that some scissors, PVA glue, and some decorative paper of your choice. So to get started with the base, you'll need to change into your clothing that you don't mind ruining. So I first started out by cling filming the areas of skin that were still visible. And then I'm just going ahead and starting to duct tape myself. I'm starting in the middle with my waist. I was pretty determined in the beginning to do this myself, but I did find that actually I did need help as time went on, so I would definitely make sure that there is someone about that can help you if you do decide to make your own mannequin. So this is almost all of my top half complete. As you can see, I did have to cut out the cling film by my neck. This is because I had to redo my chest area because there just wasn't any definition there. I think the main word of advice for doing the chest area is to put the tape downwards or diagonally across instead of straight across. Because I didn't want to destroy my shorts, I ended up cling filming the lower part of my body so I could just cut straight up and avoid my shorts. So this is when I decided to stop being stubborn and ask for some help. Me and my mum then continued to duct tape my body into this sort of strange, restrictive dress. We duct taped down first in just sections and then went round. Unfortunately, I didn't film the rest of the footage, but I literally just duct taped myself up, really. With the sleeves, I found it easier just to use smaller bits of duct tape and just do really little sections at a time, just to make sure it was laying completely flat. And then I ended up having to put some more cling film higher up my neck to finish off the neckline. And as you can see, it is this weird, like, mold of my body. <laughs> So on closer inspection of my body mould, I found that there was some loose sections on the inside where it wasn't all stuck down together. So I just got some more duct tape and started taping the loose bits down. It probably wasn't actually that necessary to do this, probably could have saved myself a bit of time, but there we go, you live and you learn. I also just went round and duct taped the edges of the mannequin. I think we can call it a mannequin at this stage, maybe starting to look like one um yeah i then got some cardboard to close in my armholes so i just drew around the armhole and then cut the circle just sort of played around pushing it into the armhole to check it fitted With the Amazon app. so once i knew it fitted i just used some more duct tape and stuck it down so i stuck it down on the outside making sure the whole thing was covered up and also did try and stick it down on the inside as well just so it was extra secure Now we are starting the next stage, which is the filling process. I then took my weird little body mold outside, took some expandable foam and sprayed it into the booby region and also <laughs> the armholes. This is just because these areas are prone to going concave and I think that most of us don't really want uh, concaved boobs. That's definitely not ideal, so I would recommend using some expandable foam when making your dummy. I just waited for that to expand overnight and go hard, and then I could take my mannequin inside the next day. So as you can see here, I'm starting to duct tape up the rest of the mannequin. In the end, I ended up putting a cushion into the mannequin, as you can see, and 
that made it so much easier to tape up. So I would recommend doing that if you're struggling. It just gives you some resistance to sort of tape against to make sure that you're getting it as accurate as possible. I decided before I stuffed the rest of the mannequin I would fill in the neck hole with the cardboard like I did with the armholes so I followed a very similar process and then checked it fitted and then taped it down in a really similar way. I think with this section of sort of filling the mannequin, it's just really important to try and get it as sturdy as possible. So I did tape on the inside and also the outside. I was starting to definitely see at this point that there is a light at the end of the tunnel and I am going to have a reasonable looking mannequin by the end of this process. At this point I wanted to stuff the top half of my mannequin about to the hip so I used one pillow to stuff the top half of the shape. You really want to stuff as much wadding in as you possibly can without distorting the shape. So this is me stuff, stuff, stuffing my mannequin. So this section of the video is quite random. So where I was going to be putting a stand into my mannequin at the end, I realized that there needed to be something with resistance about halfway through my mannequin to stop my mannequin stand going all the way up my mannequin. So I ended up using a really lightweight plastic chopping board. Um, <laughs> I know it's a random thing to use, but it's just something I had around the house. I then taped that down using duct tape just to make sure that it was secure and wouldn't move. At this stage I then decided I wanted to make the base for my mannequin so I did a really similar process to before again with the armhole and the neck and I just drew around the bottom of the mannequin and then cut it out. I then just made a perfect little hole for my stand to fit through. I think that the bottom of the stand is probably the part of the stand that gets the most wear and tear just because of the stand going through the cardboard etc. I would duct tape around the little hole as you can see in the video. as well as duct taping the rest of the surface. This is just because the cardboard that I used wasn't particularly strong um, and I thought that the duct tape would make it more sturdy. I do think that this actually worked really well. So after I finished duct taping the base, I then decided it was then time to stuff my, the rest of my mannequin. On reflection, I do wish that I put some more stuffing into the base of my mannequin. I was just really concerned that I wouldn't be able to close it off at the end if I put too much in, but I do think that I could have done with a bit more. So if you think that it's really, really stuffed, 
I would suggest just trying to put a little bit more in because when you sort of have it all closed up at the end, you can find that it probably could have done with a bit more. So I just stood my mannequin up and made sure it was all at the right height and up straight and exactly how I wanted it to be. And then I just started duct taping around the edges, connecting the base and the main body. So when the mannequin was all closed off, I wanted to do some finishing touches because let's be honest, the silver duct tape is definitely not a vibe. I just used some PVA glue and some newspaper, but you can literally use whatever you want, whether that be to decoupage. I think that's the word, decoupage, decoupage. Who knows, you know what I mean. To basically paper mache the whole of the mannequin. And there we go, that's the finished mannequin. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm actually really pleasantly surprised with how this turned out. And it's definitely gonna make my personal sewing projects easier. So please subscribe if you enjoyed this video and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye.